Can you just articulate what are some of the differences when you're looking at security or security policy for AI versus other kinds of compute or software? It's probably pretty emblematic of the broader policy style of both regions. I'd say that if you were to compare the EU AI Act in the AIEO, my alphabet soup of the day, the AIEO is more looking at understanding the scope of the problem and working together with industry to try to put some broad guardrails on it, whereas the EU AI Act focuses a lot more on market access and regulatory barriers. So less on the sort of more executive and strategic view and more on the sort of restrictive market access controls. The Cyber Resilience Act in the EU is a broad sweeping piece of regulation that covers a very large segment of technologies, products with digital elements as I mentioned before, and requires conformity assessment processes where the US has adopted a labeling approach, which is voluntary at this point and focuses on a more narrow scoping of internet updates devices. So there, there's some harmony there, but obviously some differences in how the two regions regulate. So on the ground floor from a technology and use case perspective, at Opaque, we're already seeing this already. So we work with the International Counter Ransomware Initiative, which has actually started from a cybersecurity agency out of Italy. The use case there is they're pooling Data, sensitive data across 30 different EU countries in a opaque workspace, running models against that data to find behavioral patterns on ransomware to prevent cybersecurity attacks. So it's, it's something that we're already seeing come into practice, specifically in the EU, which obviously stricter regulations is driving that. So you're also seeing AI be used for security as well as flipping on its head, right? So we're talking about security for AI and you're saying actually we're using AI to detect you no know, potential threats. 